In the previous video, you heard Ramki talk on his journey as a leader, powerful lessons he has learned, and his views on what leadership will look like in the future, and the areas future leaders must work on to become effective. In this video, he shares his failure stories and what he did when he faced them. Let's get started. You mentioned about a particular role that you played and then which sort of led to the sabbatical. Mm -hmm. Is there any failure story which defined your way of working or it defined your professional career? Lots of failures. Lots of them. Uh, I mean... I mean, obviously, when you write a LinkedIn profile or a resume, you don't highlight them, right? But apart from that, there's tons of failures each one of us has. One of those was a place where both of us worked, right? Uh, I think my role was to create a constant demand for the services that we were offering from a consumer whom we were not facing like live, right? So the first consumer was in a different country. The service promotion was in a different country, but we were to enable them online to be able to do what we want, what that enabled them to pay and make us do something. Um, when the, when the story was told to me, I was super excited and I said, I'm going to make this difference and all that. And so therefore uh, I was involved in that project from the day of, you know, defining the, uh, defining the DNA, then defining the service, then taking it across to people and, and moving it there. Now, obviously the, the response from 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 the intended target customer was far from what we expected it to be. It was really, really poor. So to that extent, there was no traction at all. So I had to personally having had to converse, con have 50, 60 conversations to get one $50 kind of order. I mean, those kind of things were happening. I mean, it was a huge high to get that $50 order, but it was not what I was hired for, right? So uh, that was a, that, that in itself was a huge failure. That, that, the project and the fact that I could not give a steady stream of consumers stroke users of the service was a, was a failure. But many startups fail and uh, from and, that, and then the, that organization moved from that to being a different one, right? It moved from being a B2C service to a B2B service. And I think I took the right call saying I'm not a B2B person in that sense. So therefore, I, I would rather be in the consumer space, which is where I think I have some levels of skills and I, uh, I went from there. So... Failed miserably, but exited at the right time and also um, exited with a lot of learnings in terms of B2C itself, saying what assumptions not to make and, and, and particularly when it comes to growth of business, etc. No business can be built on an Excel sheet was a big learning that I, that I, I, I took from there. So, so that's one failure that I had. Apart from that, there are so many projects which have started with abundant passion thinking that this is what is going to make a difference to the life, like for example, I was in the two-wheeler business for a long time. There were at least, uh, I, I was involved in the launch of about eight or nine brands, stroke two-wheelers. 60% of them failed. The, those 30% were so immensely successful that people know me for that rather than the 60% which failed because nobody speaks about failures. Lots of failures. And, and actually the worst of them was there was one particular project which was uh, which was done by, an, so in any uh, two-wheeler business, there are multiple, so the, because of the fact that the, the from from the concept table to hitting the wheel on the road is about 24 to 36 months in the automobile business. So therefore, a lot of people spend a lot of time on projects and some of them go through what we call as a evaluation funnel and then something gets launched. So there are different people who work on different projects. And so there was, there was another peer of mine who was working on a project and uh, uh, that 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 project was getting a lot of attention because it was sexy so to speak so i uh, i in fact hated that project I, I i used to make make major fun of the project and in common meetings and all i used to be past really snide remarks and deride that project to the worst extent possible and all of that i mean almost height of sarkiness was what it used to be then that person who was handling that project left and that project came to me so you imagine there's something that you hated, something that you pulled down in the eyes of everybody else, and then it comes and sits as your baby and you have to make it work. So that is a huge learning again of failure of um, not seeing things objectively, but more from a point of view of saying today what I'm doing kind of thing. So that's a big failure that I, I would say uh, I would not, I would never uh, take as anything. Uh, in the recent, the last six years, I've been in, in a business which has never been 
it has been something which is never which I've never done before have there been failures yes lots of failures in this and uh, the biggest again assumption right i was i been head of marketing so i been in the other end when i'm buying research so therefore now i'm selling i know what how it has to be presented to be sold huge difference when you're sitting on which side of the table you are you may be you may be you, there may have been people whom you would have recruited and put in a role to which you are going to sell today but the way they react to you is very very different forget react to you there are even occasions when they may not even give you give you time not because they don't want to but it is just their job requires them to be busy in a various lot of things and so therefore the uh, the the priority that what i'm offering them uh, is much much lesser so therefore they don't even give me time so therefore it's been a great leveler for me uh, so to speak saying I mean, and so, till that point of time when i was uh, in marketing or head of marketing etc i used to could snap fingers and get things done and people would there'll be a lot of revery around me and all that but now i'm in a situation where i'm i'm having to wait for people and having to you know um, uh, if i say dumb down it's very egoistic but i'm saying i need to lower myself my my ego down to to the extent of saying i need to speak at this levels this person's level to be able to win my business and to make sense to him at see why should he give me business if i am able to make a difference to his job he'll give me business so if i have to make a difference to the other person's job i should understand that job at the level that that person is in and not sit in this high horse saying oh, that's something that i've done many many years back what is a big deal kind of thing so therefore that uh, you know that level playing that leveling has happened to me which is a huge learning for me which didn't happen in the first one year or so when i was i used to still be uh, in in a, in a different plane so once i learned to make that switch it's been relatively simple yeah. uh, okay so i've been trying my best to normalize failure the issue is not that you will fail because everyone fails the issue is what do you do when you fail and how do you bring yourself up defines you as a person and defines you as a leader so so the question to you is that so when that failure happened or when things didn't go the way you expected them to when you were low you know in that graph when you were the low what did you do what practices habits routines did you do which made you come up faster if you can just throw some light on that yeah so i i obviously sulked uh, when something failed uh, and i sulked for a bit uh, for quite a while but again i i, I think I, i i learned from some of the bosses that i had who always said that uh, there is going to be a bunch of failures you're going to have for sure there's no way you're not going to be my dust you're not going to touch everything to gold so it there is going to be failures so mentally prepare yourself that there will be a, i mean and be a little dispassionate about that saying if something fails oh this is what i put most of my energies on and it fail kind of thing doesn't work so when something fails i think the best way to come out of that is to see what do i do next rather than uh, i am i am rather than declaring that i am a failure uh i i i have to transfer that to say this project has been a failure or this attempt has been a failure i am so you mean the words that we tell ourselves the yeah. the sentences and the dialogue that internal dialogue that you have yeah so it's not i am the failure it is this project that has failed or this attempt has failed or this uh, uh, this this uh, this pursuit has failed and i failed because of these reasons some of which could be me so if i correct those things i will probably not repeat this uh, in any way and uh, I, whatever said and done however how much ever we pull ourselves out of it failure does slow you down mm. so when you go to the next project you are a little more cautious than uh, you should be so you're, you you take you you a little risk risk prone than you should be so that is bound to happen but that's for a little while so we we get out of it and then say okay this has a goal post and i have to get there kind of thing so that's the big thing when failure happens i make it a point to tell myself that it's not me but it's this attempt and uh, and to make sure that uh, i i am able to identify the causes of that failure and if they are me so be it i will correct them thank you thank so you. much i thoroughly enjoyed the interaction over the last uh, 30 odd minutes and look forward to many more cheers that's it from us if you have any questions for ramki or i do leave it in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that i'm in thank you so much for watching i'll see you next week until then stay home stay safe